Dana White has no intention of paying Snoop Dogg anything. On Saturday, YouTube sensation Jake Paul knocked out former Bellator welterweight champion Ben Askren in the Triller Fight Club main event. Immediately after the fight, multi-platinum recording artist and Triller co-owner Snoop Dogg, who was serving as one of the hosts of the event, hopped on the mic and started shouting, Dana White, where my money at? Referencing an alleged bet that White made on Askren beating Paul. But speaking with Yahoo's Kevin Iole on Monday, White declared that no such bet was ever made. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say what I think happened in that fight, White said when asked to comment on the bout. But I can tell you this, I don't owe Snoop $2 million. I never bet. Let me make it clear right here to everybody. I have never made an illegal bet, ever. I did not make an illegal bet on Saturday night. I did not bet $2 million with Snoop or anybody. The genesis of this comes from an appearance on Mike Tyson's podcast where White was discussing the bout with Zab Judah and Mike Tyson and told Judah he'd bet a million dollars that Askren would win. From there, Snoop Dogg went on TMZ to attempt to double down on that, saying he'd bet White $2 million. White never publicly accepted that bet nor, he says, did he do so in private either. Javier Mendez called me right after I did the Mike Tyson podcast, he's the head coach at AKA, and he said these guys at Triller, they want to take that bet, White said. They want to bet you $2 million. I said, it's f asterisk 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 ing illegal. First of all, I'm not gonna make an illegal bet, number one, and number two, why would I bet them $1 million or $2 million, when I could do it legally in Las Vegas and get two to one? It's not just the alleged bet that is annoying White though. Following his win on Saturday, a number of high-profile UFC fighters threw their names out as possible next opponents for Paul, and Paul and his team responded in kind, talking trash to Askren's teammate Tyron Woodley and even to former UFC heavyweight and light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier, and continuing to target UFC fighters for boxing matches does not appear to be White's favorite thing. Why don't you go fight AF asterisk 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 ing boxer? White said. What the F asterisk 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 do these guys keep talking to UFC guys for? I'm gonna have to slap them with another F asterisk 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 ing legal letter, these F asterisk 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 ing idiots. Go talk to F asterisk 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 ing boxes. What are you doing? It's not all bad for White and the Triller Fight Club team though. A long-time boxing fan who never misses an opportunity to run down the sport, White actually did give props to Paul and company for finding the right niche and making the most out of it. It's not my thing but that doesn't mean it's not other people's things, White said. When you look at this whole Jake Paul thing that's going on right now, boxing continues to go like this, motions hand downward.